Hello everyone! In this video I want to go over some of these tips that are all going to focus on managing your tabs in Google Chrome. So we're going to go over some strategies that hopefully will make your life a little bit easier. So the first of them is creating a bookmark folder. If you don't already have your bookmark bar on, I highly recommend that you turn that on so you have easy access to your bookmarks. So how you do that is you go to view and just always show your bookmarks bar and then you'll have this bar where you can add anything that you like. You'll see that I have a lot of bookmarks added here. To add a bookmark, it's very simple. You just click on the little star icon to bookmark the tab and then you click add bookmark and then I recommend that you make the name pretty short so that it doesn't take up a lot of room. You'll see that a lot of times I actually just like delete the entire name and then I just have the icon which works if you have all different icons but maybe this is the presentation that you're working on and then if you have folders just make sure that you're adding it to your main bookmarks bar press done and you'll see that it pops up here on my bookmark bar and I can drag that and move it anywhere that I want just like that. So I can move it around and I can right click to edit it at any time. Now I really like the folders to store certain things. So I actually have one that's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if I have a specific project that I know that like I need to work on on Friday, I just put it in my Friday folder. You could do the same thing with your classes. So let's talk about like setting up a folder for your classes. If I right click on my bookmark bar, I can add a folder and I can have like algebra two, for example, and just make it in your main bookmarks bar here, save, and it will go to the end like this. And then you can save things within the folder. So if I wanna put this presentation in the folder, I can just drag it into the folder like that. I can also say that I want this Google Doc to also go in that folder. There's two ways to do it. Number one is you can just drag the little locky icon and drag it into the folder just like that. The second way to do it is to press the little star icon again like we did before. And it says edit bookmark now because I had already added it, but you would just add the bookmark and then make sure that it's in your Algebra 2 folder. So again, the two ways to bookmark is number one, you can press this little star, add a bookmark, and you can choose what folder you want to add it to. The other way to do it, I'm going to remove it for a second, is to drag it in to the folder like that. And if you wanted to put it on the main bookmark bar, you can just drag it like that too. If you don't like the title, right click, edit, rename it. All right, so that's how you add a bookmark. That's how you add a folder. One of the really nice things about adding folders is say that you have your, you know, your list of things for your class and you need all of these documents to quickly be able to access. You can right click on any folder and you can open all three in a new window and that would instantly open all of the bookmarks you have within the folder. So if you're working on a presentation and you have a bunch of different resources for it, like say here, I'm working on this Google slides. I'm working within this Google Doc as maybe part of brainstorming for this presentation that I'm creating. And then I have another research pane open and I'm always needing access to all of these for whatever I'm working on. But like, I don't want to keep these three tabs opened all day long because it's using up my resources on my computer. It's slowing things down. It also is just like a headache to have too many tabs open. Just go ahead and like make a new folder. So Add a new folder, presentation resources. Go ahead and save it and then move all of these things into that folder like I did for this one here. Actually, let me delete this one. You can always delete it if you're done with the project. I could go here and just rename it. There we go. So now I can close all these tabs and then, you know, I'm like ready to work on my presentation again. Right click on it open all three. There we go. Now I've got them instantly. I can close them. Don't have to worry about losing them. Now let me close that whole window. The other thing that can be nice is to actually create tab groups. So that's a rather new feature. If you right click on any tab, you can now choose to add the tab to a new group. So maybe I want this group to just be called my 
presentation and I can choose whatever color I want. So let's choose red for this one. And then I can click on any other tabs that I'm using for this presentation. I'm gonna show you the usefulness of this in a moment. So first of all, I need all three of these tabs to be part of my presentation. So you can just right click on each of them and add tab to a group or you can actually press the shift key and click all of them, right click and then add tabs to group and it will add all of them. So I just held down the shift key, clicked on each of them that I wanted and then add them all to the presentation tab. You'll see that now all of them are red. If I add another tab, you'll see this one is outside of the red because it's not actually part of my presentation. I hadn't right clicked on it and added it to my presentation group. So the benefit of this is I can close and open that group. So again, like if you are working on a presentation and then you got to go to another class, you don't want to close these tabs, but also like you don't want them taking up all the space. You can just minimize it by adding all the presentation tabs to your presentation group. So hopefully that makes sense. And then if you have more that you need to add, so let's say we have PowerSchool here and I have another Google Doc here and both of these, I wanna to add to a new group. Again, I can just press the shift key, click on all the tabs, right click, add tabs to group, and I don't wanna add them to my presentation group, I wanna add another group. Let's make this one purple. Then these two are now in this group, and the other three are in my red group. So I can minimize them like that, and I can maximize them. If you have all three of these tabs in this tab group and like you don't want this tab group anymore, but you want to keep these three tabs open, then what you do is right click on it and just ungroup. And then that gets rid of the tab group without closing your tabs. So you can close the group if you really wanna close all the tabs that you were working in, ungroup if you just want to get rid of that header. I really should also mention if you accidentally close the whole group, so like you can right click and you can close the group and that would close all of those tabs. If you accidentally do that, your best friend is going to be Command Shift T or Control Shift T if you're on a PC and that reopens anything that you accidentally close. So that works for any new tab that you open. So like if you open a tab, you close it, you didn't mean to, instead of Command T to open a new tab, Command Shift T will reopen a previously closed tab. You can also actually get to that from this little menu here. This will allow you to go between all the open tabs you have and also find all the recently closed tabs that you recently closed. Okay, speaking of minimizing and maximizing, you'll see that I have my Google Drive that's always opened and I also have my email that's always opened, but they're small like this. I can't actually like accidentally close them. What I've done is I've actually pinned those tabs. So how you pin a tab, say that this presentation is something I don't wanna accidentally close and I need it opened all the time. You right click on it and you choose pin. And then it automatically goes to the left side. So all your pinned tabs are grouped to the left. You can reorder them by moving them, but you can't like reorder them outside of the pin tabs. The pin tabs are all grouped on the left and you don't have the little X button to accidentally close that tab. If you want to close that tab, you can just command W or you can right click on the tab and either unpin it or you can just close it directly. I'm going to unpin it to get it back, but those are like my three little tips that I wanted to give you, creating a bookmark, creating tab groups that you can also collapse, and then pinning a tab in Chrome. So I hope that this quick little walkthrough of tips helped you. I'm gonna give you one bonus tip. I'm sure you're creating new Google Docs all day long. Something you can do is just type doc.new and you'll automatically create a new Google Doc. You can do the same thing with like Google Slides. So you can do slides.new and it will automatically open up a new Google Slides presentation. You can do the same thing if you need to create a new calendar event, cal.new. I think you get the idea. It works for most things in Google Docs. You can do forms.new, sheets.new. I think you get the idea. All right, so that's my bonus tip. That's it for my tips for today. I hope this was helpful and that you enjoyed. Bye.